Hey, what's up, my YouTube family? It's your man, DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment, coming to you with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the studio. I know it's been a while. Now, I know that I sold a lot of stuff in the past two weeks, in the past month. Um, I downsized the studio by a lot, but I, I kept some of the stuff, oh, most of the stuff that I use and stuff that I don't use, I just sold them and make the extra money. Now, um, I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the stuff that I have and why I decide to keep this stuff and some of the stuff that I didn't care. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's a perfect time to hit that subscribe button. Here we go. All right, I'd like to start it off with my analog mixer, which is a Toff ATB32 channel, which is a great sounding mixer. I really recommend this mixer. I know you guys have been asking me, uh, where is the mixer gone? Um, but um, I've been doing a lot of projects. I've been mixing a lot of projects uh, for clients. So um, it's better for me to use the, the control surface, which is the DG, DG Design 24, Control 24. That's what I've been using lately. But nevertheless, this mixer here, um, as soon as I'm finished with our project, I'm gonna be installing this mixer back because um, I love the sound of these analog mixers a lot, a lot more. Um, but when it comes to mixing projects for, for clients, um, a lot of the recall uh, section that I have to recall sections and stuff, it's a lot easier to do it on a control uh, mixer than doing it on this analog mixer. Um, to recall stuff on these analog stuff will take you like a day. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, I exaggerating right now, but you know what I mean. Um, Plus it's a digital mixer where, you know, you do that stuff in the press of one button. All right, so that's my ATB mixer. Really sounding, great sounding analog mixer. Moving on to my new wife. <laughs> Could never take the place of the MPC 3000, but um, yeah, been lately I've been using this machine more and more and more. Um, and um, right now we're having a combination with the Emax. And I know you're wondering, why would you have it in combination with the Emax when the MPC 4000 is like everything in one? But it's not. Um, I would say yes, it is everything in one. But when it comes to the outputs, it's kind of limited on the outputs. Um, it only has eight individual outputs plus your stereo outputs, which is 10 outputs. Um, but when you have something like uh, a, a, a dry rack, uh, not a dry rack, but a rack, uh, sampler you still have the benefit of having all the outputs from that and still the output from this now one design that I wish they did on this was to be able since you have the double slots to be able to to do two analog um, expansion board to give you a total of 16 outputs on the outputs now I like to do when I'm making a beat maybe I'm using 16 channels of you know whatever I like to have that stuff separately going to my DAW um, to have all my instruments separately uh, for better mixing. Um, I don't like to have like a piano together with a string and I don't like that. I like to have everything separate. Um, that you can have better control over the mix when you have everything separate. Um, and when you're selling your track professionally, um, you know, to these uh, labels and stuff, they're gonna want everything separately. I sold tracks to uh, professionally to labels and they wanted everything separate, everything separate. Um, so in order to get that stuff, I like to MIDI that, I like to MIDI my MPCs with, um, with a rack sampler. Um, and I think the Emacs is a great sampler. Um, I mean, you really need to look into this Emacs. It's really great. Um, all right, moving on to my computer. I have a 27-inch iMac running Studio One as my Dove choice. Right to the bottom of that on my compressors. I still use my compressor even though I'm using a digital mixer. Um, if you're interested in knowing how I hooked up my stuff, just leave your comments below and I will show you my rig. Um, now, so, you know, my compressors, is a DBX 160A. Uh, these compressors sound great on drums. Um, and I have the Warm Audio uh, WA76, uh, which is a great compressor. I use this on the 808 kicks and stuff like that. To the bottom of that, I have uh, my 5 Series rack, 
which I purchased this brand new and I never put anything in that. Maybe one day I will, but not just sell this rack. If you're interested, let me know in your comments below. You know, cause I really at the moment I have no use for it. To the bottom of that, I have a classic drum machine, which is a Yamaha RX-7, um, very classic. To the bottom of that is my amp for my NS10. Those NS10s are not self-powered. And uh, all right, now moving on to my interface. I have the Apollo 16, which is this bad boy right here. One of the best interface that I ever had. I love that interface. I used to be a Motu interface guy for a long time, but uh, uh, Universal Audio sold me on that, um, on that Apollo. I really love the quality of the Apollo and the, the benefit that the Apollo has um, compared to a lot of different interfaces. Um, I have other, you know, external processors like you know I have the Alysis uh, MIDI world uh, Fora I have you know the TC electronics and and you know just little stuff there that I use um, I have this compressor right here which is um, you know it's a pretty good compressor focus right compressor and yeah alright moving on to my control surface right here I have the DG design 24 which is a great 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 control surface um, highly recommend this uh, control surface and these right now are not going for so much uh, compared to how much they used to cost back in the days um, the newer brother um, you know it's up there in the price but I don't really it's the same thing I know it, it not much of a difference and to be to be honest with you I rather this one than even a newer one um, not because I have it um, but because of the L shape and it's easier to see stuff around the mixer compared to the newer one um, but um, everybody has their own choice and I think this is a great control surface alright right there I have my monitors which is my Yamaha monitors I have the NS10s um, which I love to mix on those NS10s I, if you know you see my videos you know how much I love to mix on NS10s so. Alright, starting it off with my sampler drum machine. Right here I have the Roland MV8800, which is in fantastic condition. I have this posted on eBay, so if you're interested, uh, let me know in your comments below, um, and I can send you the eBay link where you can purchase this, or you wanna go ahead and purchase directly from me, you're more than welcome. All of my uh, machines are well kept, and everything works 100% functional. Um, Next to it is my MPC 60, also in fantastic condition. That's not for sale. <laughs> and to the bottom of that is my SP 1200, my beloved SP 1200, um, which is in great condition. I did a lot of work to this. Um, if you haven't looked at the videos, if you have one of these and you want to know how to change the pads, if you want to know how to clean your faders professionally, um, I have videos you could check that out. So that's my SP 1200. Uh, to the bottom of that is my Emu Emax 2. This keyboard is in fantastic condition, mint condition. I have this posted on eBay. So if you're interested in getting this keyboard, just uh, hit me up. Uh, leave your comments below. I think this is a great investment, especially for a keyboard this old and in this condition. It's a great investment. Um, so you could go ahead if you want to be, if you want to purchase this keyboard. You can go ahead. I have the rack, so I probably wouldn't need a keyboard um, more than the rack. I really more into racks than the keyboard than the actual keyboard. But this is a great investment, so you could go ahead and if you're interested, you could go ahead and buy this. Um, and to the bottom of that, I have holy moly, my loving my my wife, the MPC 3000. Um, yeah, so. It's on the floor right now, I gotta pick it up, put it somewhere safe. And right there I have the S950, it's another sampler, drive rack sampler, uh, classic. You know, if you know about this right here, this is super classic. 
Alright everyone, there you had it, your main DJ Roxy. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's a perfect time to hit that subscribe button. I would like to take the time out to thank all my subscribers and we're reaching that 10,000 subscribers. And once we reach there, I got big plans for this channel just for you guys. So I hope you guys have a blessed day, a blessed night. Your man DJ Roxy, until next time.